Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cannabis Tech Talks. You are chopping it up with Chuck. I'm the editor-in-chief of Cannabis Detect today. We are coming to you from MJ Biz in Las Vegas, and we always bring you the goods. Of course, we gotta give a shout out to our sponsor, PolyScience and Summit Research. Uh, and today, we have a special guest for you. As I said, we always bring good guests. And today, we have Jordan Alcott from Alcott Enterprises to talk to us a little bit about, uh, what are we gonna talk about, Jordan? Well, I think we talk about cannabis and technology and, and IT all together. Cannabis and tech today? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. That's a great topic. Welcome. Fantastic. Well, thank you for having me, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's truly an honor to be on your show and, and be chatting here with you and, and the rest of the team. So. Well, I'm glad we could fit you in. It's day three. You know, everybody's been going hard in the paint and, uh, you know, we want to finish strong. So a Absolutely. Well, you know, thank you again. And, you know, here at the end of MJ Biz, we are, you know, at the final stretch and it's been a wonderful show and yeah. everybody is awesome yeah is it the biggest is this the biggest ever i, I it has to be is at the, least that's the word on the, the street the last probably three years that i've been yeah. coming it's just consistently gotten larger and larger and larger i think we're going to surpass ces maybe in a couple <laughs> years what do you think oh my god dude ces is huge in fact that's right we were talking earlier you know uh and we, and we our first magazine is innovation and tech today so that is basically that ces show sure we're a media partner there we're going ever that's like a hundred and 50,000 people? Something like that. It's yeah. insane, yeah. So this is definitely, I mean, I'm sure at least 40,000 or, yeah. or 50, uh, but yeah, great show, great show. So tell our audience, what are you doing here? Yeah, so we're an IT consulting and managed service company. We work with organizations to help align technology to their business. Uh -huh. What that really means is we work with them to understand your business, your processes, and try to make you more efficient. And the way we do that is by what we call aligning technology capabilities to your business requirements. Yeah. And think of it this way. If you've ever been given a tool to use and it's kind of round, uh, round peg, square hole kind of scenario, that's a disconnect between the business and the, the technical requirements. And what we want to do is marry those things together to help you streamline your business and be more effective. So what kind of tech are we talking about? Are we talking about like internal communication tech? Are we talking about CRMs? Are we talking about like cybersecurity? Like that, that's a great question. We actually cover 99% of what wow. you just talked about. Yeah. And you know, our product is services. We want to understand your business. We yeah. want to understand the industry to then bring enterprise solutions together to help them grow, right? So I, I want to build on your CRM question, yeah. right? We're not developers, we're not developing sure a CRM platform, but what we can tell you about are all of the different solutions. Why? Because if you have a specific need, we want to be able to match it to the correct CRM that will help your business be effective, ah, fast, and work that's together. That's the consulting. Hence the consultative yeah. side. But you know, there's what we call two different types of consultants out there. There are ones that will sit down, do that consultative side, and then give you a very pretty PowerPoint and walk away and say, yeah. thank you so much. We do that, but we take it a step further. We'll actually provide the implementation plans. We'll then manage it going forward. Yeah. We stand behind the work that we do because we believe, one, in the industry, we believe in what we're able to bring, and we, we stand behind all of our work. Yeah, I think that's the thing about tech is that everybody, you know, like, like tech is great, and we love it, and it's cool, but a lot of times we don't take the time to learn how to use it to its full extent you know what i mean like, like maybe we know some of the features on this computer or on this phone or on this piece of technology but you know maybe we're only using 10 or 20 percent or 30 percent of what we could be doing and yeah. i feel like that's probably a fairly common thing in in businesses it, that that is a very common thing right we see several themes throughout yeah. the cannabis industry right we work with other industries and part of what we do is bring some of that knowledge into cannabis and we've been in cannabis now for over probably four years. Okay. And some of those common themes, we have a saying when it comes to the cannabis industry, you're literally flying the plane and putting the wings on at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And what that alludes to is that the industry is moving so fast that sometimes technology is an afterthought. Yeah. Right? Why? Because you want to produce more, you want to move as fast as possible. And sometimes you may have to slow down to go fast. Yeah. Right? And part of that is aligning and sharing technology is your enabler it, it breeds future innovation we don't want you know round peg square hole scenario yeah. we want to make sure that that improves your business 
See, and I heard also that in this state of Nevada right here, and this was a couple years ago, but I heard that um, cybersecurity is not very good for most cannabis companies. And in fact, somebody told me, and I don't know if it's true or not, but pretty much every company in this state has been, you know, every dispensary has, has been compromised, has, has been hacked. Yeah. And uh, it seems to me like that what maybe is happening is, is, you know, business only has so much money, you're focused on your product, you're focused on this, yeah. that cybersecurity ends up being uh, yep. on the back burner and then it can bite you in the ass. A hundred percent, right? And yeah. I, I couldn't, uh, verify your statistic about yeah. Nevada, but your thought on the cybersecurity and impacting cannabis is huge, right? Yeah. You have customer data, you have personal data. If you are a medical only, then you start running the lines of patient. other patient data yeah. and personal health data, right? So that that's a huge thing. And, and part of what we see and what we help organizations do is leverage enterprise solutions that will protect them and even if you're a small organization, say you're 10 people, yeah. 20 people, we take those solutions and bring them to you yeah. at that cost. Why? Because 70% of all cyber attacks occur in organizations fewer than 100 employees. Wow. And the reason that happens is because exactly what you alluded to of they're working so fast or, oh, I'm too small, I'm not going to get uh, you know, attacked. And yeah. it, you know, the smaller guys are the easy fish when it comes to cybersecurity because Maybe they just focus on the business, yeah. and maybe their cousin who's good with their home computers is, helps set up the network to get IT us person? going. Is yeah. their IT person, and and that's good to get off the ground, but then it, it leaves certain holes later that then yeah. puts you at risk, right? And and something else too. Uh, I did a keynote actually um, uh, for the FBI at their technology conference, which was which is pretty. Uh, you know, kind of crazy. I'm talking to the FBI about tech, their yeah. IT department. And one of the big challenges they have is people that work from home. You know, now you have to worry about their network at home. Now you have to worry about their machine there. You've got other ways people can get in yeah. as opposed to, whoops, as opposed to, uh, you know, a secure uh, environment in an office. So that work from home thing creates a whole other dynamic. Well, absolutely, right? Working from home used to be a very much a perk and a, a privilege of some organizations. And then the pandemic happened and yeah. really um, what we call a forced digital transformation yeah. had to occur, right? And one of the previous examples of a forced digital transformation is when somebody a long time ago pitched personal computers over typewriters and then it started to change over, right? And that happened slowly over time, yeah. but we got forced into it because of COVID. And what that did was it, to your point about cybersecurity being challenging, yeah. is it increased what we call the attack surface. Uh, so uh, what happens is what, when you were normally protected by a corporate network, you were behind mm -hmm. that firewall, you had a layer of security. Because security to us is about layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the domain level, you have the network level, you have the device level, then you have the application level, and then it, it keeps going a little farther down, right? Yeah. And what you lost was a lot of that protection, so the industry had to shift and change, and there are certain tools that we use and with our clients to help protect your devices and your network, even when you're off. Say you're sitting yeah. at Starbucks, you'll still have that enterprise level um, security solutions yeah. that will protect you. And that's, uh, we're a big Cisco shop, so we, we help um, manage and implement a lot of the Cisco products, and that's, that's how it's done. Yeah, and I always wonder about these, uh, these public networks you know like even at the hotel where i'm staying at yeah. like like half the time they don't work you know what i mean like you end up just like like forgetting the network because it's bogging you down and it's slow and the other yeah. the other half the time i'm i feel like somebody's probably getting into my shit you know and like stealing it because i'm using the public sure. thing so sure. is, is that is that going to get better do you think I, look connectivity is going to increase yeah the, the number of devices on a network today per person is now six plus yeah right when we build a corporate network, we assume each employee is going to have six devices. Why? Because smart devices, you have phones, tablets, laptops. I mean, the, the number of connected devices yeah. increases. So as a result, what's going to grow proportionally to it are those networks that you're referring to that are the free networks at yeah. you know, the airport, Starbucks, yeah. the event center, stuff like that, because they want you to be connected. But without having the proper systems in place, yes, you could 
be at risk, yeah. right? And, and working with a partner like us, we can help secure the business so when you do travel or roam, as we call it, you are protected that way, both from an encryption perspective, yeah. from a website blocking and malicious and many other uh, forms of protection to help you feel secure even when you're on a free Wi-Fi at a convention center, for example. Well, and the thing is, too, you might have uh, you might have the, the most secure phone, you might be on the most secure network, you might have everything like that, yeah. but then you've got, like, phishing, where it looks like a real correspondence, and you gladly log in and give oh, your information. Yep. So all that security goes kind of right out the window. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> I love it's this. Like a Trojan horse, right? Exactly. Yeah. That, that's that's really what it, what it's about, right? Yeah. And part of what we do with our clients is um, what we call cyber awareness training. Yeah. Okay. And usually, what happens is we let one or two of the executives know that who you know who yeah. we're reporting to in the organization that hey we're gonna we're gonna send out really it's a a fake phishing email yeah. that we send out and see who clicks on and it and see who clicks on it who oh, puts man. in there. And and we we turn around and say, okay, great. I mean, we don't call you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't call you out for for doing that, but we say, hey, seventy percent of your employees over here clicked, then signed in, gave us their credentials. Yeah. And uh, you know, that's that's yeah. We we do that as well as working with them on that corrective behavior. Yeah. Installing and managing the right solutions and monitoring the networks, monitoring devices to make sure that things are working appropriately and there's no irregularities. Yeah. But you could spend millions and millions of dollars on cybersecurity. You could buy the best firewalls, <laughs> the best software. And you got some knucklehead. And literally <laughs> more issues yeah. occur because of the end user. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Gosh. Well, okay. Well, we got to wrap it up, but um, how about a couple of tips or maybe, uh, you know, a couple of uh, maybe maybe hacks, you know, for people that, that they should do or they should look into uh, on the IT side or on yeah. the security side? You know, technology is at the core of every business, yeah. right? It doesn't matter whether you're just starting off, you have a brand new license or you're going to build a facility or you're taking over one or you're growing and established. Look at technology from the beginning. It becomes an enabler and mm -hmm. sets that foundation because, look, cannabis is going federal. Yeah. It's, it's no longer a question. It's a matter of when. Right. And you want to be able to handle that type of growth when it happens, right? Yeah. And so get started early with technology, even if it's, hey, I need a domain. Hey, I'm in the plans. I'm working with architects. Where should access points go? Do I need fiber? Start early, get that foundation, it will take you to another level. Wow, that's good, that's really good. Well, let, let the audience know if they wanna get a hold of you, if they wanna you know, potentially do some business or maybe get some consulting, it's a great opportunity for you to give a nice little yeah. uh, outro shout out. Absolutely, so um, our company, Alcott Enterprises, that's A-L-C-O-T-T, -T, and then the word enterprises. Um, it's alcottenterprises.com is a good way to, one, get to our website, but on there is our phone number. We're a 24-7 organization, 310-362-7400, excuse me. Nice, um, the Mike Jones, he you, has the phone number in it. You can it. actually talk to somebody today about your cybersecurity, your yeah. networks, helping you out, getting you to that next level, building your strategy. No obligation, they can no. just start chopping it up and, and get some ideas and. Absolutely, we wanna help you, and again, it's about marrying business requirements and yeah. capabilities. And if we go, hey, we want you to pay to teach us, no, we're the IT organization that understands cannabis. We know the ins and outs. We understand why metric and biotrack are so important, yeah. regardless of how painful they are to work with, right? Yeah. So for us, we want to help you and Let's take it to the next level. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Oh. I'm glad we could fit you in here today. Uh, I feel a little bit smarter, and I, I always love when we have a guest that uh, that brings it and and helps our audience learn some stuff. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. If you've got the Roku, um, make sure you download our streaming channel, which is called CBD TV. We'll have lots of great content like this. And of course, we got to give a shout out to MJ Biz. Poly Science, Summit Research, my mom, 
uh, all the great people at IPW, the Sahara for putting up with us, and uh, thank you very much, Jordan, for being here. It was a pleasure having you, and uh, yeah, man, I'd, I'd love to uh, to connect with you and 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 uh, stay in touch, and Please. maybe you can help us with our tech stuff. We would love to help you, and really, thank you for having me on the show. I feel honored to be sitting next to you here. Thank you. Love it. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time on Cannabis Tech Talks. This show was produced by Cannabis Tech Today and Pretty Easy Podcasts. Go to prettyeasypodcast.com now if you're looking to get professional production help on your own podcast at an affordable rate. Pretty Easy Podcasts, making podcasting pretty easy. Hey, hello, I'm Tommy Chong from Cheech and Chong. Wait, you didn't think people would know who I am? Durachil. Uh, this is Durachil. This is Durachil. This is Durachil. No, hey, I don't talk like that. You want me to sell this? Buy it. Try Durachil or else. If you want something really nice in your laboratory, buy Durachil. You can't go wrong.